Hello everybody, I'm back with another video and it's February and it's time for the Art Snacks uh, box of the month and uh, you know it's covered now so I don't dox myself and yeah let's get started So let's open up this box and see what it has. Here's what it looks like. Oh no! That is super sad. <laughs> this is the first time that this has happened. One of the items exploded. Ooh. And it even landed on the on the paper. That's a while here's the menu oh. the candy probably it's not <laughs> poisoned <laughs> with the ink oh well it seems to be a purple ink I mean, it looks really nice but probably clean it up or something All right, here's everything that it has. And the first one is the acrylic ink. Just put it right there. And I guess I'm gonna clean this up and I'll be back to swatch this. Here's the sketchbook. All right. Let me clean this up, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I, <laughs> it's clean now. Um, it is a gorgeous purple, though. I will say that. And here's a little bit of the aftermath of me cleaning that up. Uh, but yeah, let's, <laughs> let's try this again. Um, so here's the menu, and here's the main one and is the Higgins acrylic ink and as we saw in the color purple later up this month with Higgins acrylic ink a brand new product this ink is waterproof and light fast so you can create multiple layers with ease the color is brilliant and intensely pigmented that is true and can be mixed with other Higgins inks to create custom hues you can dilute it with water or use as is with a brush or dip pen Okay, so I'm gonna use it with a brush. I'm gonna use this cheap one. It's not really a brand or anything. Just this. And there's my pen. And snacks. February 2021. Um, it says to shake well, but you know, I'm a little afraid with this. <laughs> but let's see. Maybe that's enough. And this is what it looks like. There. And let's just drop a little bit. Oh, that is that is pigmented. Let's just drop some right here. Ah, oh, that's I love the color. It's beautiful. 
That is pretty legit, I'm not even gonna lie. And it said that we can dilute it with water, so let me grab a water brush that I have. This one is also was also one of the art snacks. <clears throat> Just a little drama, maybe, maybe another one. And that's it. that is what it looks like with water at it which is also a really nice color let's put this aside and let me write down that it is the higgins acrylic ink i don't even know if i'm pronouncing that right Right with the next um, item. Oh, it's a brush. Princeton Velvet Touch Series 3950 synthetic brush. And we get the round size for eight bucks retail. So I'm painting with the lap of luxury with the Princeton Velvet Touch brush. It's silky, soft, finished wood handle. Complements the excellence performance of a synthetic bristles. Seven years of research and development went into creating these filaments meant to outperform natural hair. This brush works well across all mediums and pales wear with the Higgins acrylic ink. Okay, so here's where it is. Oh, there's everything else. Is this the girl of the, the month? Super cute. And here is the brush. This is what it looks like. It's pretty nice. I really like all of their brushes because they're really high quality every time. So and we'll try that out when I do the actual piece. So let's say what's the next thing. Akiratake Sig Metallic Clean Color Dot Double Ended Marker for dollars in retail. Connecting the dots has never been easier. The clean color dot marker lets you create perfectly round dots. Now in metallic color. It features two nibs, a one millimeter tip for detail work and the rounded dot tip. Try changing the pressure as you draw to create brush strokes or dot marks in varying sizes. The, the water-based metallic ink shines on light or dark paper. All right. And here it, here it is, this is what it looks like. And in a past, uh, past box, they did add the, I guess the non-metallic colors because I have one I don't know where it is so I'll look for it eventually oh no I probably did this the hardest way that I could have thought of. Five hours later. Jesus Christ, okay, here it is. And let's not even cover that up. Let's just try it out. And you do, you can do, like it said, very different type sized. 
um, circles. Let me zoom that in so y'all can see it. And here's the other nib, the one millimeter. Really nice color. I think it will look better on a black paper though, but I really like how it shimmers. And let's write it down. I'm not gonna write the whole scientific name, but here it is. And I went to look for it, and yes, here it is. Um, we got the same one as this in another box, but they're like they're not metallic colors; they're regular colors. Um. And I almost got, I mean, this one is green, so I, um, I got the same hue again. And I saw that it was on the February of last year's, actually. And I'm a little sad that this year they didn't do a pink one like this one for February as well. But, um, yeah, so they also gave us on this, like, exactly one year ago, they gave us the same one. But now they give it to us in metallic, and that's pretty cool. And if you, I don't know if they have this box in the shop, but it's a really, it's a really good box. I really like working with this one. Okay, moving on with the rest of the menu. There's two more. Um, and then the next item is the, oh, a thermoplastic eraser. It's well controlled with a, oh, I don't know how to pronounce that thermoplastic eraser comfortably hold this handy tool and erase with complete accuracy thanks to its ergonomic hexagonal shape the durable rubber material is gentle on paper and comes in a variety of fun colors which one did you get so which one did we get oh we got it in red oh kind of like blood red orangey type of mm. Okay, so let's try it out. Let me zoom that in. Alright. It does work pretty well. Um, it is really nice to hold. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see. Like a hard press on the oh yeah I mean it leaves a little bit of a mark but other than that oh okay we're good that's pretty good I like it I really do like it I think it's a fun little eraser and the last item is a graph stone pencil i have a lot of graphite pencils because <laughs> they all come from this box but let's try it out experience pure graphite okay made from a solid piece of graphite no wood casting this pencil is great for a quick gesture drawing it can be used like a regular pencil or broken up into chunks for more expressive work. Sharpen it normally to achieve a super fine tip. I don't know if I'm gonna broke it, break it in chunks. That seems, that's extreme to me. Um, but this is what it looks like. I really like this brand. It, oh, they always make quality uh supplies and we got a 6b i don't know if everybody else got a 6b oh, here it is. tell me if we all got the same <laughs> and let's try it out okay you can get really dark with it and we can get really light with it too 
thing is really nice. And I'm sorry for my horrible handwriting as always. Um, So yeah, those are all the supplies. Um, the only ones that we can really test out what they look like is these three. But I mean, we are gonna see how the how the brush works. Oh wait, let's test if that eraser uh, erases this. Because you know the challenge is to use everything in the box. So let's see. Uh, it leaves a little bit of a mark though, like it doesn't completely erase it, so it's probably gonna be good if I'm gonna be inking on top of it. Because you know I can just like erase it and I can see the mark and I can like ink over that, but uh, it doesn't work that well with this. And I don't know if it's because of the paper or because of the eraser, but we'll see when you when we try it out and I'll be right back with trying out what I want to do because we basically only have this green and purple and I have to figure out what to do with those two colors and I guess we can add the the gray for more than just being a sketch so maybe it's gonna be like a grayscale drawing with some of the some splash of color I and mean, I'll see so I'll come back with that <laughs> so a little pause really quick so I was like seeing the rest of the sketchbook and this dot stained <laughs> more parts of my sketchbook and is that that and that's it but yeah so i mean this paper is not the best but it did do that so here i am um sketching what i wanted to do at first and it was about to be this um girl with uh purple hair and a snake like choking her neck and right now you you see um what i'm working on i really like the the eraser i because i have my other the eraser that i usually use like also on the side and i will reach to the to the one that i got in the box so and i think the ship was really was a really nice touch so um i'm glad they give that but yeah this is my my thumbnail and um this pencil is not really that i didn't really like it for um sketching but i think like it said on the little menu for gesture drawing it'll be better like maybe just graphite work I think it would like work better, but for regular sketching, I really didn't like it. I will go back to my normal HB pencil that I use or my um, 0.7 mechanical pencil.
Like it's harder to use a um a marker instead of the ink because I just thought that the ink was like too much to just use on this paper. But um yeah, so I decided to map out because it's like pretty similar in color, so I just decided to map out what I wanted with this marker instead of the actual paint. So I did all that, <laughs> the thumbnail and all that, and I decided to change it because I started working on the original um, illustration and I chose a watercolor paper that has the texture and I did not like how the graphite pencil looked. I didn't like the way the test, like the texture look like how the color like how it grabbed it i didn't like any of it the only thing i like was the ink on the watercolor paper because well when you put a water <clears throat> well like the paper is gonna take it well but i just start to start over with this gray tone paper and i also completely changed the design um this same like person and snake design i've done before and I got inspired because on like in my room I looked up and I have the art that I did that I got inspired again and it's this one right here and uh, so yeah like I did that one and I, I think this is like a like a pre like a yeah like a before this, this, I think I named that piece Venom, so this will be pre-Venom. Uh, yeah, but I just decided to completely change it, and I liked it a lot better on this paper. And I think I would have also liked the other, the other design that I did on the, on this paper. But I just decided to like change it all together and do it on, you know on this design with this guy that i have no name for him at all it's just like this random guy that i draw for most of my art journals uh and i don't know he, he has inspired a lot of my paints and i don't even know <laughs> like where i got that guy from or anything like that you can say he's one of my original characters but i don't even have a name for him yet so, but I, I enjoy drawing him a lot, and I usually draw him with like different hair colors, different skin colors. He's my to-go guy, basically, if I want to do any illustration or painting. So here's the ink, the purple ink that exploded at the beginning. I'm gonna just do a little bit and water it down. And that's the brush that was given by Art Snacks. So I try to do like a really light wash to do the his hair. And what also inspired me to do this is because of the of the color scheme because the other the other painting like it's mainly green and and purple and these are the exact colors so I thought it would be fun to also kind of like recreate that but give it a, a little twist um, and that's why I got the idea of changing the design to this one. And uh, I had trouble controlling how much water 
and how much ink should it have and all that so that's why you see that it's darker right there but i still like how it turned out So here I'm trying to make the purple even lighter so I can uh, color the snake and uh, I'm sorry that the that right now you can't see me painting but since I'm not used to recording myself while drawing or painting then I'm not used to like what's on frame what's not because I just like start painting and I forget that I'm recording but um yeah i wanted to do the snake a bit lighter than him and i don't know if that entirely worked out but i do like how the snake looks at the end and um on my other painting the snake was green but i thought that here since i wasn't gonna use purple a lot i just thought the snake to also be purple and um to just have like little green accents that you will see in a minute. So now I use the graphite pencil to do some shadows under the hair and like I'm gonna do it like inside the ears and on the neck uh bah, sorry on the neck and where the snake is sitting like on his neck. <clears throat> so I try to do that there and for this type of thing I did enjoy how dark the pencil can get but like i said sketching is not super ideal
so here's the the green marker and I use that to give the little little details to the to our little snake friend and also give him an outline and there I go um, putting the drawing out of frame <laughs> like I said I'm not I'm not used to recording myself so these things happen but hopefully later on uh, I'll learn how to put it on the frame <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I basically did the outline and I do like little, uh, like at first they're like shapes and then they're gonna turn into like actual, oh, there I go, I corrected myself, I was like, oh, people not be able to see anything. So yeah, those are the shapes that I give it, type of like, some snakes have those type of shapes. So I decided to give it that. And then for the rest, I use the the part that makes the dots because I had like an idea for the for the background. So I just went for it and started giving our snake friend some dots. Oh yeah, and then I decided to color his eyes green as well which in the other painting that i did they're gold and there's my head because i am so used to like practically being on the drawing for me to draw so like for the end of the video you're gonna see my my head a lot and here i used um the ink without water like just like purely how it comes to do the outline for the hair and the body and i really like how this brush did the outlines like the control you get with this brush is incredible and it's gonna become probably one of my favorites i had another painting that i did and i used that that specific brush and it worked wonders for when i what i wanted so yeah that is definitely one of my favorite brushes right now there's my head again So I'm just doing the final details and overall I really enjoyed this box. Um, I decided to do that little thing like I interpreted as venom coming out of the snake uh, for the background. But yeah, this I had a lot of fun with this box and I recommend this. I'm not sponsored. Love to work with them <laughs> one day. But yeah, that's pretty much all i have to say about this box and this one i do recommend and that's the end and i'm gonna do like a little close-up and here he is so yeah there i go hope you like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye